So I just wanted to do a quick video. So you know I saw that um, my cannula fucking, it got messed up, it's tissue. It was I had it for a couple of days anyway. So obviously they recannulated them, because they hadn't cannulated me. It feels a little bit like it's on, on the nerve, but hey, I don't really know what's going on now. Um, I don't know, the doctor doesn't say anything about the scan. And then when the red coats came a, wh a while ago to do that, to do the cannula, I sort of asked them a bit about more the pick, you know, the pick, about the pick thing, you know, the, the tunnel pick line. You know, they don't have any knowledge of it. They've never even seen one. I mean, they're, sorry, sorry. They said they, they haven't had any, they haven't dealt with it. Okay, so if these are line specialists, that's not making me feel too comfortable that you haven't even seen one before. Like, it's, you, they, they're so they're that rare, you don't come across them. I said, am I safe with this? They're looking at each other like, you know, well, you know, we don't, we, you, you, you. do you see what I'm saying? You know, don't give me something that's going to make me unsafe. Don't give me something that's going to fucking put me, compromise my health and put me in the shit. Or damage my veins even more. Do you understand what I'm saying? So now I just feel a bit like, well... I'm in a bit of a fucked up situation really, aren't I? Because either way, the outcome's the same. If I, if, I, if I went home with the tunnel line, if I went home with this fucking tunnel pick line, and if I went home with, the, with the, just a standard pick line, what I came with, I'm still in the same shit, meaning. I'm still gonna go home with the fucking line, whichever line it is. Obviously, I'm gonna be infected as I normally am. And just deteriorate again. You know, it didn't help when I was sort of saying to them, just what I'm saying, what sort of comfort is there? You got one, you got the registrar, the one I was saying, that's nice, that's offering me all this, saying obviously the lifeline's more, do you know what I mean, with the tunnel pick. Obviously the tunnel bit will give you more security, more protection from infection. Do you understand? And then you look at some salt and say something different, do you, do you get me? <laughs> It's my fucking life. Like, how do you get to fuck with that? How do you get to make, like, really sloppy decisions? And even the cannula that he's put in now, this cannula that he's put in now, it's, it's on a nerve. It's on a fucking nerve. Now you know when it's on a fucking nerve. When she flushed it, I could feel it was on a fucking nerve. But yet she said, oh, let me just put it on a fucking slow grip and see how it goes. Like you don't know. See, this is the thing about fucking Zen Marks. I mean, how the fuck do you treat patients? How do you treat patients? And they should fucking got to work with them. I 
I just feel like they're just taking the fucking piss, do you understand what I'm saying? I just feel like, obviously, like I said, I, obviously I feel confident with what the other doctor said, yeah? The other day, why wouldn't I feel confident about that? Of course I'm going to be opening to try something that's, not, that's obviously not a part of my chest. The Hickman line. Of course I'm going to be happy about that. And just like I said before on the 13th of June, this same fucking doctor really like, I don't want to say he put my hopes up, but he made me feel really secure. I felt really comfortable with whatever, whatever he was saying in this particular appointment. Just like, just like any time he comes, any time you're under his care, when the consultant's not about, you, 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 you do you know what I mean? You, you, you suck it in. And then the top consultant just comes and fucking, he just works it all away. I don't, I don't understand. So what's their finds if you fucking comical, do you know what I mean? I'm not. You know, I, you know, it's like I said, it's easy for them to think, oh, she's just been problematic, you know, just, just take the fucking Hickman line. Yeah, take the fucking Hickman line, you piece of shit. You know, and then, like I said, when I'm fucking at home and I get those silent fucking bugs, like I do. And when, I, when I've got the symptoms, like the diarrhea, the fucking loss of weight, you know, fucking loss of appetite, they, they leave me like that. They fucking leave me like that, not for fucking one or two weeks, for the fucking monks. They wait for me to get fucking serious before. It's not okay. How can that be safe for me? So now I'm in a situation now, I'm, I'm obviously, you know, thinking against this time of pick now. Considering, like I said, there's only one radiologist, whoever, that, that, that comes only once in a blue moon. You know, this will be his first one he's done here. They have to import the line from wherever. Not, there's no one here that can do that. I've done that, I've seen that. How is that making me feel comfortable then? You know what I mean? How is that making me feel comfortable? You know, if that's the case, then, then you give me back the pick. You give me back the fucking pick. You know, you give me back the pick, but I need to see somebody before I leave here. I need to see someone before I leave here. I need to know what's going on. I am not going to flipping leave and then, and then when I run into trouble, no one's identifying that. No one's trying to pick that up. No one's trying to help me. Until my body literally eats itself and that's what happens. My body's not identifying the, the, the threat, but it's, but it's, it's trying to def defend its, it's trying to, uh, I don't know, defend itself by eating off of itself. Instead of showing you signs, you know, like fever, or I don't know, showing external signs that there's something wrong. It just starts to eat off itself, trying to work it out itself. Can you imagine when it fucking does that? Don't you think I need to be able to fucking communicate with the fucking doctors? And not for you to fucking say, oh, you know, 2018, you looked fucking, fuck you, man. That's fucking dangerous. That's just like you're leaving that patient for fucking dead. That's fucking dangerous. Like what? Are you fucking kidding me? I'm in the same position, you know, or if that's the case, 
They don't understand why they're not sitting down with me. You fucking sit down with me then and you refer me to your top fucking you refer me to your top your top team then. Refer me to your your top um your immunologist then. You refer me to your I don't know, your central London line specialist then. It's not okay. But literally when they both came and they sat down there and I was just always and I was saying to them, like obviously like tell me a little bit about can you tell me a bit more about the line? You know, you know, obviously I'm saying that to them. And you know why I just feel so fucking emotional, you know what so pisses me off, you know what fucking pisses me off? Is that I put my trust in God first of all. I tell you what I fucking do. And you know what pisses me off? Is that, is, that, is, that, is that you have to have some kind of trust in these fuckers? Is that, is that you're fucking, like you come like you're fucking umbilically called into these fuckers? Do you, do you know, that fucking pisses me off. Like I said, I'm not asking for special treatment. Just like he has many complex patients, right? I mean, serious patients, right? That have a multitude of, of, of other conditions that are just that, that way make minds look like nothing. You know, so we know that my veins are tricky. We know that they are problematic. We know that they're non-viable, some of them. But it's interesting how he can just like, he almost like writes you off without even trying. Do you know that kind of thing? Do you know when someone just kind of just writes you off without even fucking trying? And this time, this time, you damn well know there's some fucking lifeline in my, in my right arm. Do you understand what I'm saying? What I'm trying to say is, like, how fucking dare who are you? How do you make these decisions? You can't play God. You can't decide who lives and who, or who dies. Because that's what you're doing. That's what you're doing. So, and, and, and the thing is, and can you imagine? No answers again. No answers again. They all know me. There are no answers, right? You all know me, you know the difficulties that I have, and no answers. Can you imagine after all these fucking years, you come in and out of the hospital, and you haven't even figured that out with that patient? You haven't even figured something out with that patient. Don't act like my, don't act like my, my veins are the worst ever. Don't act like mine are the worst on earth, because you've had worse. You've, you've had patients that are a lot worse than that, 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 you, that, that you've got to deal with. So don't act like that. Man, they're completely shocked. We're not at a stage where you need to be, like I said, in my grind or in my neck or doing whatever. So, the, so these ones, yeah, there's not much access to the, the, my arms because of the pick. I get that. But you would think that, you know, at least max them the fuck out. before you're gonna go onto the chest. I don't even want the chest, obviously, for serious reasons. I just need answers, I don't understand. I don't understand how continuously, it's like a walkover, they don't, you're just walking over me like I'm not there, like you can't see my black ass now, me just, and, and my purple hair. My multitudes of different color hair that I'm famously known for in this goddamn hospital, but you can't, you can't see me. You just can't see me, no? What is it? What is it? Is it because my mummy and daddy are not flipping great funders or, or whatever, donators? Hmm? Is it, is, 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 is it the colour of my skin that offends you, that puts me in a certain bracket?
Is it because I come from a certain part? Is it a postcode thing? Is it because I don't come from where you come from? What is making this man treat me this way? What is making this man not treat me? What is making this man almost, you might as well say that this man wants to even tick the palate of your care. You know what they have at the end of these letters for us patients now. Which it wouldn't make sense, because every one of your people that have, been to, that have attempted to cannulate me or take blood, it's been successful. But yet you're talking like I've got no, no, my veins are completely shit. He's given me nothing. No explanation. There's no nothing. There's not even. He's. He's. he's he, can you imagine? Like, That's the top consultant. This is the the the. the. This is he. That everyone talks about. This is he at St. Mark's. And this is how he's. This is how you're treating me. I'm not a difficult patient. I'm not someone that comes in and out of here like for vacation. I don't even like hospitals, they already know that. What is this, just because I happen to, like to, because I, I don't know, you may see me as a, someone that's challenging you. Because I care, because I question things. Because I'm not the patient that you can just say, open your mouth and put a pill in without me saying, excuse me, what's that? I become problematic, I become a challenge to you because I want to know what's written down because I want to go through, I want to go through procedures because I want to be in the loop you put an X on me I want to know why I want to know why I've done nothing wrong you know I've come a fucking long way with my condition I've come a long way with my fucking illness, with the Crohn's disease, let alone the intestinal failure. What, to come this far, to come this far for, for another top consultant, because my, my doctor for my Crohn's disease, he's a top whatever, professor or whatever, and you're telling me now I'm with this particular person, this other top consultant, and, and what? Well, and that's it. That's it. They give you nothing. They give you nothing. It's not like they're saying, okay, this is what we can do for you. This is what, this is what, this is what we can do. We're going to listen. Because that's all I have got. Because the bloods are not saying anything until I'm desperately ill. And this is what they know. Especially the one, the, the registrar. But of course, the, the head, the head cons consultant, he ain't listening to him. He's not listening to him. He's not listening to me. Oh, Jesus, have mercy. Merciful Father. Merciful Father. Have mercy on them, you know. Be merciful with them. Because I don't understand how you're playing God. That's what I don't understand. You're offering, like I said, this line. How, if that's the case, why are you offering me something that, what, what do you think I am? Some, some laboratory monkey I deal with? Some lab rat? Excuse me. This is a whole thing you haven't dealt with in, in, in your hospital. You haven't used it on whatever, rare, rare, it's rare, rare, rare. You haven't even fucking tried it on anybody, but I'm gonna be your first monkey. Get the list, <laughs> what, excuse me? That's where we're at. That's where we're at. This is St. Mark's Hospital, all, up, all lit up in fucking gold stars, right? Award winning, whatever they call that, this man. And this is where we're at with me. This is where we're at. Look, if I'm being profiled, then I need to know what's going on here. Because this is feeling uncomfortable. At first I thought it was a case of, you know, you're just slipping through the cracks of all this bullshit that's going on. I don't think it is. 
This is very personal, and it's my life. And, and, and it seems like no, no one's defending me. What else could a doctor and a nurse say? No one's defending me. They can see that the man's fucking wrong. Yes, no one's defending me. If the man medically kill you off, they'd still not defend you. It's fucking bullshit, man. It's bullshit. <laughs>